Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Spoon's Whip. I hope that you're all having an absolutely fantastic arc week. And I wanted to show you just real quick um, the way to set up your raft just for your uh, doe dick and um, hide the sail. Yes, that's what we want to do. Set up your doe dick because I said it messed up. And that's not the way that you're supposed to set it up. So let me show you real quick. You set it up this way. I like setting it up this way. You can put the doe dick on the right if you want to, but I, I like it. I like it being on the opposite side. Get you as many boxes as you can fit. Find you a nice. How many fit there? There's six boxes. Are you going to be able to go over there? And one thing, a uh, tip that I wanted to give you is, is that make sure your pockets are as empty as possible. Just so you can just straight up take stuff and transfer it easily. Because if you don't, I'm just going to leave that stuff in there. Hope I don't get attacked by... Or hope I don't get attacked. Let's do that. The reason why you want to leave your pockets empty, you don't have to be sorting through stuff. You just want to take the stone off of your guy and transfer it, transfer it straight in if you press the right button anyway. Just like this. Now let me give you a couple tips to get this guy emptied. I filled up that raft already over there. It's completely full. Um, the reason why you want to line up your boxes like this is because... It's easier and you can fit more boxes on there and plus you can um, you can reach the doe dick from the corner and just hit, get to just about any of the storage boxes on the raft at once so you can keep him loaded down with stone over here on the right like right in here maybe back just a little bit you don't want to knock him off okay you don't want to run into stone as the game glitches on me. You don't want to run into the into a wall or a tree or anything like that to push the doe dick off because if he's full then you're going to be in serious trouble. So let me show you this real quick. He's got a level 2 and I just pump weight because this is how I gather stone every time and I need to pump my weight up. If you put all your stuff in, in weight then you'll be in business, but he has to be, he has to be, uh, he can't be completely full at all, or it's not going to work. And you just inch along just like this, run into some stone, and he'll take care of it for you. There you go. Can you get that one too? I already cleared out the area right here, so you don't have to worry about running into any baddies. You can do this on the ocean but I don't recommend it at all I, I just the Lee Ichthy and there's so many this the shoreline in this little lake right here in case you want to know where I'm at let me show you I'm right at the game well there's blue ob right there so I'm right here exactly where I'm at and there's a lake up top that you can just drive around and it's pretty flat the entire way. Sometimes there's some baddies in here. I ran into a couple baryonyx. But you just maneuver the raft. Why is this better? Well, you don't have to travel. You don't have to have a Quetzal. Uh, you just drive around with this guy on it. And you can fill up as much stone as you possibly want. Just make you a whole bunch of, whole bunch of trips. You don't have to make you a whole bunch of trips at all. You just do this the entire time when he stops swinging usually that means that he's uh or she is empty now i only have a level 92 so there you go once they reach a certain weight they're gonna stop stop swinging as soon as i took that stone out stop um yeah you can see right here the reason why I put them like this so I can access them a lot easier. And this takes no time. Make your raft, make you a whole bunch of uh, 
boxes you can put them all over the raft but I recommend this way because it's a lot easier to keep them organized and you can pull up to your drop-off stop to stop or hopefully you have a high high level like um, I don't know Bronto or Packy or not Packy um, uh, Paraceratherium or something that will grab that stone but as you can see these two boxes are already full and what we've been into this video for uh, five minutes and 30 seconds so you can see how really effective this is going to be now where it starts to become less effective is the more um, bad guys you had to deal with the more uneven the terrain you have to deal with all that stuff is going to play a huge role on how much uh, stone you're going to be able to get out but I think I could have fit one more I'll put one more storage box in there maybe two but if you could expand your raft and I wouldn't spend too much time just trying to stand in one spot if he doesn't hit it at that one point in time and you got this much uh, stone running around, just go on to the next spot. He's not going to swing at every single one of them for some reason. something glitchy about it. There you go. Come on, hit that. Not. Let's see. Let's move up to a big one here. You going to knock this out pretty quick. There we go. There we go a lot there. Just keep an eye out for baddies, of course. Like you have to do it every time. There you go. Just like that. That's all there is to it. Just got the tips that I told you right now. Uh, I'm playing single player. I don't have anybody helping me. Um, just tame me up a doe dick. Get you a raft. Get you as many boxes as you can fit on here and safely get to. Find you a nice little open area like this lake right here I'm sure there's plenty in Ragnarok the more open along the shore it is the better the stones like this are the best stones that you can get they provide the most for you so yeah after that we got three full boxes and this video was seven minutes and 30 seconds long and that was me setting up the wrap the doe dick and the boxes too so you can see how effective it is hope this helped you out hope you get a nice grand base out of some stone and uh we'll see you guys later oh if it helped you please hit the like button maybe subscribe if you want to we'll see you.